All right, guys, so to get these two things ready for dirt coat, um, they recommend using their true strip degreaser, clean all the chemicals, any, you know, any markings, anything, oils like that. Use this little scrub pad, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. But I also went and picked up some brake parts cleaner. Um, this stuff is phenomenal for doing everything that this stuff does, but works a bit better, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. I am going to do that, and then I will be right back with you guys. All right, guys, so this is my little mini paint booth. It's actually just a tote that I put on its side because I don't have any better options. So for right now, this is what I've got. So I just sprayed the brake cleaner on these. I'm gonna let them dry, and then we're going to tape up what we don't want painted, and then we're gonna get started. All right, guys, so while that's waiting to dry, let's go ahead and get the dirt coat ready. It comes with two spray nozzles, which is pretty awesome, just in case this one gets gucked up or you take a break and come back and it's all dried on, you can switch to that one. The nozzle is turnable, but I don't really need to. I will just use it in this orientation. So the instructions say to shake it up for, I believe it is three minutes. And then what we're gonna do is take this cap, put it on the bottom, push it down, and it's gonna activate the can inside the can. And that is your hardener, which is gonna mix with the Duracoat and make it work. So I'll do that and be right back. All right, guys, so now that it's all shaken up, you're gonna take this, put it right there on that. I'm actually gonna use the table for help and get the cap set on there like that. And go ahead and give her a good push. You'll hear it pop and then you'll know it's activated. Now I've got to shake it again. All right, well, the slide's taken quite a while to dry, so let's get started on this. This is going to be my first time dura coating, so bear with me, and uh, we'll show you how to do it. I'm going to go ahead and hold right here. I'm going to start towards the bottom. I'm going to do a couple test sprays. Make sure everything works out just good. All righty, let's go. They say to do a pretty light spray first, so we're going to do that, and then we'll let her dry, and then we'll come back and keep hitting it. Alright, and that'll be it for the first coat. Alright guys, so I flash dried it a little bit. I just took a heat gun and sat there and let it roast for a little bit. So it's pretty dry now, so we're going to go ahead and do coat number two. All right, now we wait and repeat. All right, guys, so it's pretty close to his dry. So we are going to go ahead and do a third coat. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I had some bubbles right there and they popped and it turned out kind of gunky. But for now, I'm gonna leave it and just, uh, I'll probably end up stippling this gun at some point and then I'll just go back over it with the coat and take care of that as well. So let's do that final coat. And that should just about do it. I'm going to let her sit here and dry, and we're going to get the slide ready. Okay, guys. While we we're waiting for that final coat to dry, we we're going to head, go ahead and prep the slide. So as you can see here, I've got some little stickers. I am going to attempt to put my last name right across the slide, and then spray it. And then when it's all done being sprayed and dried, we're going to peel the stickers off and it'll be all green and my last name will be outlined in black. So I'm going to go ahead and 
do that and I'll get back with you. There it is. I think it's going to look very good. I got tape. I decided I was going to tape right in here just to uh, help the barrel when it's uh, moving back and forth. I didn't want to have anything get in the way. I went ahead and stuck some tape in there. I got everything in here covered and of course back here so that we won't have any issues putting everything back together. So I'm not too worried about the slide rails. I think they will be alright. I'm going to do a light coat on the inside but try mostly to stick to the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we've got the frame hanging over to finish curing and that'll take about 24 hours. I'll probably make another video and see how it's going. For now, we are going to do the slide. flash dry all right guys so we've got the last coat on I think we might have to go through and touch up a little bit more it's uh, taking quite a bit of time to dry so we're gonna have to let it sit um, one more thing I was gonna do I decided I was going to do all the three pins on the Glock 19 to match the slide and all the other hive technology parts I've got on it so my solution for that was to tape pins just like this so just the end showed didn't get anything anywhere else and uh, I think it'll look good along the black frame so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll be back with you guys all right guys so I've gotten the final coat on I'm just gonna let her dry overnight and we'll see how she looks in the morning I think she turned out pretty well so thank you guys for checking it out and that's all I've got for you today